Charles Gang. That's just in case you ain't heard of me. They told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way, this ain't Burkey. Everybody said it won't be. Now you're talking about the Burkey. 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 Uh, Jamal Cholo wins by unanimous decision, wins in dominant faction. Uh, I'm kind of in a hurry, so, uh, because I'm excited about the main event. Um, listen, real quick, uh, boxing fans, I just want to let you motherfuckers know something. Um, boxing fans are the worst fans in any sport. Uh, the only fans that are worse than, uh, boxing fans are the Cowboy fans. Um... I used to be I used to uh follow that sad ass story every year. Um yeah, I used to be so much of a diehard cowboy fan. If the motherfuckers lost a game, bro, I couldn't eat. Nah nah, I was fucked up like that. Nah nah nah, used to be uh <laughs> Nah, used to be uh Nah, I used to couldn't even even um Nah nah nah, I couldn't even eat. I I was mad, uh be ready to fight. You couldn't say fuck the cowboy. All that I was an aggressive cowboy fan. Don't really fuck with football like that no more. Uh, yeah, ever since Jerry Jones told them, uh, brothers, uh, you motherfuckers better not take a knee. And they abided by... Anyway, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, back to Jamal. Jamal Charlo, um, like I said, boxing fans are the worst besides Cowboy fans because... Even Jose Benavidez, Vita Senior, uh, I mean, junior, Senior and Junior, they had no respect for Jamal. I got to give Jose Benavidez uh, Jr. a lot of credit. You are a real fighter. And when I say a real fighter, a, a real fighter is a fighter that can take his wins and can take his losses. Jose Benavidez Jr. has no excuses. Um, he took that loss, bro, but he fought. He fought. He didn't quit. And shout out to you for not getting stopped. You got a hell of a goddamn chin. Um, so I give, I give you credit, bro. Jose Benavidez Jr. is a real fighter. Just been through some walls, you know. I think that knockout loss to Bud really staggered his career in a major way. But shout out to you, bro. It's respect to you because you can be a man at the end of the day. Like they shook hands. Nobody thought that shit was happen. What happened? But uh, this is what makes boxing the greatest sport to me. Is when two men can be men. We can be dogs first, bro. We can want to tear each other head off. I can talk about your mom, all that. But after blood has been shed, bro. After everything, I done took your hardest shots. You done took mine, bro. I can't do nothing but respect you for getting in this ring and going 12 rounds with me. Or 10 rounds with me. That's why, um, like I said, bro, boxing fans, um, it's just on some bullshit. Uh, I saw y'all boo Floyd. You, I, let me tell you something. Caleb Plant got more cheers than Floyd did. And Floyd been living in Vegas over 20 years. Anyway, I ain't going to get to that. Um. But Jamal Cholo, I just want to say, bro, I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of your integrity as a man. I'm proud of your heart as a fighter. One thing I know about Jamal and I like about him as a fighter, that motherfucker don't mind. He'll mix it up. Uh, Jamal still, and I've said it, even th during his layoff, coming off a two and a half year layoff, uh, Jamal Cholo still got the best jab in boxing. I told you, De Devin Haney Hills is number two. Jamal Cholo, Jamal Cholo did some shit that he ain't even been been doing. Really. That motherfucker not, he always doubled the jab. He tripled it. I've seen him triple it. That motherfucker threw a quadruple jab. That motherfucker threw two jabs up top, one to the body, and one up top. All of them landed, bro. The combinations, Jamal don't normally throw combinations. He don't normally do that. He a jab and a straight right. That is uh, J uh, Jamal's money punch. Jamal is not known for combinations. He threw a lot of combinations tonight. Yeah, I saw you get tired, bro. Uh, I understand it. Uh, it's been a two-year layoff. But, uh, bro, I'm so proud of you uh, that you've overcome it. I know these same dust-ass black fans that had so much to say about you uh, missing weight and all this other shit you've been going through. They've been trying to accuse you of being a dauphin, accuse you of being on drugs, but you've never popped dirty for cocaine. So, um... I'm just getting tired of the disrespect. So uh, if we real boxing fans and you motherfuckers act like you really love boxing, bro, you'll have a little bit more goddamn respect for Jamal Chola. And you'll put a little bit more goddamn respect on his name. Uh, you motherfuckers are too harsh. Um, Jamal Cholo, his post-fight interview, uh, you was humble and it humbled me. Um, 
it made me like you even more. I always said, Jamal, Jamel, I've given him another chance. I've said that and I've said that. But I've always said, bro, Jamal was the better fight because he got that same shit. He ain't like, he ain't, he just, he, Jamal damn that still look like the same Jamal. After a two and a half year layoff, a little more energetic though. He normally a little bit more energetic, but he still threw a lot of punches. Jamal Charlo ain't lost no step like that. He's still what I like about him the most. He don't get hit flush a lot. He got a tight defense. It ain't the best, but it's tight. He tight with his shit. And I told you, bro, that jab is precise. And it's hard. I told you, you remember how you heard Julian J-Rock with the jab. His jab is hard as shit. So, um, yeah, you still got the best jab in boxing to me. So, um, I'm very proud of you, bro. I'm very proud of you to overcome some shit. Let me tell you something. We could file for that uh, Dauphine-ass story that uh, Fatback Fury gave us. Yeah, when he was under a bridge and he was drinking cold 45s in Kentucky Deluxe. And that motherfucker had needles in his arm and uh, he was on his last dub sack of uh, cocaine and all that shit there. And we can say he say Jesus saved him. And when if we can believe all that shit and uh, cry for him, bro, we need to be a little bit more goddamn understanding because I ain't heard no content creators, no fans say, you know what, Jamal been going through some mental issues. When Ryan did it, it was cool. When he said he had mental issues, when T.O. done it, it was cool. Nah, bro, I think the brother really went through some things, bro, with his woman. And certain shit in his personal life. I think he uh, regained the love for boxing. And so uh, for that, bro, you definitely got my respect. Um, it's fighters like Jamal that uh, sometimes I get convicted. And I, um, bro, as content creators, sometimes we too hard on fighters. Sometimes we too hard on, just like I was too hard on Jamel. I wasn't wrong. I felt like he folded. But it don't take away from all his accomplishments. I can't just throw his whole career in the dumpster because he folded against Canelo. I'm going to still always be mad at that shit. But now, nah, Jamel get another chance, bro. Now, 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 you live to fight another day, and I want to see how your career proceeds after this. I think you can still redeem yourself as a fighter. So, uh, I'm proud of you, Jamal. Like I said, the best jab in box. I've always loved Jamal's jab, bro. Jamal got one of my, like, out of... Of all time, he got one, he's one of my, like, he probably have a top five, my favorite jab of all time, bro. I just love the way he throw that motherfucker, and it's hard. He don't pity pat. A lot of fighters pity pat with that jab. His jab is hard, bro. That shit hurt. He hurt Jose several times with the jab. That shit was flush. And a lot of times, he kind of hook with the jab, or he kind of, and then, and then I like when he throw the left hook uppercut. The upper, I wish you had to threw that right uppercut a little bit more. You'd have finished them. You'd have sent them to the upper room when Jesus. Yeah, you'd have sent them there. But uh, shout out to you. Uh, listen, I can't stay on this long. The fight finished. Start. This is nine on three boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.